The Auckland Mayor Wayne Brown's with us. Morning. Good morning. You'll be everyone's hero if you crack this. Can you crack it? I'm determined to, yeah, I think so. It's been annoying me for a long time, even when I was back running, way back and running Vector, it cost more to do the road, the um, traffic management than actually cable, the laying the cables. How's it and got so out of control? Uh, I think some years ago when I was the chairman of the Land Transport Safety Authority, it was um, safety at reasonable costs. Now it's safety at any cost. Mm. And uh, the companies have ploughed in here and found here's a gold mine. You can hire those, buy those dreadful trucks covered in cones and plant them wherever you like and lay out cones and charge like hell. Uh, and it's, it's got completely annoying. Look, last week they took out one of the lanes of Newton Road in the morning and cones everywhere, one of those dreaded safety trucks in the middle of it. And it was for a small job on the footpath around the corner in Great North Road. Yep. And you think, how does this possibly happen? So I've had a couple of pissy bits, and they're now listening to me at the AT. Good. Well, I hope so. Are they the worst people on the road, those guys in the trucks with the cones and the lights on the back? Are they the most arrogant people on the road you've ever seen? Well, they're certainly the most annoying. And, I mean, these are people who um, insist on driving at about 10 k's exactly. when they're in front of you, just to remind you that they're there, as if that's some form of safety thing. By the time they've pissed everybody off, um, they've, they've created a road rage potential that, that easily exceeds whatever safety thing they've done in the first place. Good. Crack that and I'll vote for you forever. By the way, while I've got you, CRL, where are you getting half a billion dollars from? Uh, well, I did predict that, if you remember, when yes. I was on my way to get to be the mayor, I said there'd be a billion dollars over. And... Um, I'm kind of annoyed. It isn't a bad project. It was very badly handled by the um, first the national and then the Labor government by allowing Wellington people to make contractual decisions which were out of their, their pay scale, really. But you're on and the hook uh, for it. Where, where do you get it from? Oh, you're on a busy, busy in a cutting program at the moment. They suddenly want $500 million you don't have. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that, that's... <laughs> Uh, it, at least it's going to put some pressure on my fellow councillors who still want to own things like unprofitable airports that we've really got to do something about it. You can't just borrow your way to wealth. Where are we going to get it, though? It's not, I, I'm going to be arguing quite a lot with the government about this because, in fact, we, whilst we're up to 50%, we haven't had 50% of the say in the decisions. We didn't have 50% in who, who got to be stopped working during COVID. We didn't have 50% in decision-making in a lot of things. And, and while you're at it, CRL is also a very bad example of taking up too much road space for a construction yeah. work which is underground. Couldn't agree more. Nice to catch up with you. Appreciate it very much. Wayne Brown, the Auckland Mayor.